We, you are watching a master at work. Yeah. What is up, my little babies? Welcome to another episode of Music with Lou. If you are new here, this is how this works. So first, I'm going to do the intro. This is me doing the intro where I introduce myself as one of your favorite hosts with the most. And then we're going to go into the song. And it's going to be like a minute and some change, right? It's not going to be the full thing. But what you're going to do is you're going to go like, do your homework you're gonna click the link below and then go get the whole song if you like it it might you know it might be like a sample of a freestyle video or whatever like it just might be like a taste of what they're offering okay so then then after that i am going to bring myself back onto the screen big it's gonna be big and it's gonna be me and i'm gonna be back right i gotta keep the mic right here and um we're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you what I enjoyed about it. You probably enjoyed the same things. Maybe you'll see something that I didn't. And also, I would like to say, the display shelf over here, if you have any merch or, you know, whatever that you would like me to put on display, just hit me up, comment below, and be like, yo, check out my brand. I'm trying to get it on your display shelf. That's the plug of the week. And, you know, why not? Why the freak not? And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the vibe. I got a couple scars, a couple bruises. Never going back, but the truth is. Damn, you wanna make me try, even if it's suicide. I don't mind. I hope it's your hands twisting the knife into me. Telling the bombs where to lay. Let me go ahead and get my singing voice together as we do this. Got a couple scars, a couple bruises. I mean, I fell in love with this artist when I saw him doing cover songs. He's so good. Like, his vocals are so raw. These are, this is his vocals very calmed down. Like, if you really catch him in his bag doing a crazy cover, he goes crazy. But let's go ahead and talk about it. I got a couple scars. I got a couple bruises. But here's the thing, though. You know, damn, you really gonna make me try. He said, even if it's suicide, I don't give a damn. As long as it's your hands, that's twisting the knife, baby. As long as you're the one who take me out, I'm cool with that. That's some that's some love for your ass right there. You can take my heart out of my chest, but long as it's my heart and your hand. So when it's bleeding and it's like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, as long as that's your hand around it, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. As long as you you at my funeral front row and you the only person that speak, even though you killed me like this, I'm cool with that. That's how much I love you. That's crazy. I love the scenery. I love the setting. I love how he's just like walking down the streets, the lighting in the back. This is probably one of my favorite settings that you could ever use. Just walk down the street, sing your heart out, and let the lights be lit up in the back. And then I like how the beat just becomes dramatic as he becomes dramatic. It's that doom, doom, doom. I'm not gonna try to hit that you. But the way you hit that you at the end, that was freaky, it was crazy, it was too good. It, it was so good that it kind of pissed me off. You ever see people that sing so good, it pissed you off? Cause you're like, I only get pissed off cause I can't do it. I you see too much when you see your mama cry. Every tear that fell caught a homicide. And it ain't too many angels in the place that I'm from. But they'll put a halo on anybody, Lord. Not too many, I can say that got me, Lord. But even when I go astray, I'm still your son. Even on a cloudy day, that's childhood. Even though I've done some wrongs, I can't change Even on a cloudy day You seen too much when you see your mama crying and how he just hitting that piano with a black. Y'all know if you do a, a piano with a black and white, you already fucked me up. And then he come in saying, you seen too much when you see your mama cry. Uh, and he ain't lying. It's just something about seeing your mama cry. You like, mama, stop doing that shit because I can't take it. Every tear that fell caught a homicide. That's heavy because that bar could go so many ways, but I want to take it this way. Do y'all ever think about how many mothers have dropped tears because their son or their child was lost to a homicide? 
Do y'all ever think about that when y'all just go out here and y'all be reckless and y'all walking around with these big ass clips out y'all pocket or whatever the fuck you doing, whatever sick shit you doing, maybe you're a child murderer, whatever the fuck you doing, taking a child from their mother that loves them, not them crackhead mamas, fuck the crackhead mamas. Sorry, unless you all clean now and got yourself together. So let me fix that. But if you still crackhead mama, fuck you. But I'm just saying, think about the tears. I don't know. That's just a tear that I can't stand mothers dropping. Like them tears hit different. When you see a mom cry because she lost her child to homicide, that shit be different. Fuck me up. You ain't even got to be my mama. Just seeing any mother cry after losing a child, any parent in general, not even just moms, because there's great fathers out there who do it by themselves. So any parent that has to bury their child, like my heart just feel for you. So that that little uh lyric right there, you know what I'm saying? When we sing it, we just call them lyrics. It ain't a bar. That that hit me. There ain't too many angels in the place that I'm from. Boy, your voice is so beautiful. I mean, Alicia Keys ain't got nothing on you in that piano. I tell you that. My whole life, I thought Alicia Keys could sing. Man, I'm like, oh man it's just the pain that you're singing for me it's the way you're singing it it's your talent i think it's your hair i think it's the jersey you got on i think it's just a whole just it, it just all came together well and i really loved how he went into it, talking to god like even when i go astray even when i get too far away and i make mistakes at the end of the day no matter what i'm doing no matter how far i am i am always your child do you hear me? I'm going to do some wrongs and I and I hope that you forgive me, God. And God gives us so much grace. God is graceful with me. God is patient with me. God loves me in a way that I just can't even really explain or put into words. You would just have to be in my shoes to understand. I'd be like, God, let me tell you what. I'm looking for these niggas to love me. They will never compare to your love. My goodness, excuse me for saying niggas, God, but you already know I'm a real nigga. How be talking to stuff? But uh, this is just so good. And, sir, I hope that you make millions of dollars off your talent. I hope your voice takes you to places, you know, to the Grammys, all the way over to the CMA Awards that Beyonce didn't get nominated for. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so petty right now, but, sir, you are amazing. You are so talented, and you are going to continue to go so far. Not that you need to hear that from me or anything, but... In case it's a cloudy day and you might need to come back to this video if you do see this, sir. Let me tell you what, you got it. Because God gave it to you. I just want some recognition for having the tits and a big heart. Can't believe I let you in. That must be the worst part. Oh, I taught you everything you know. Uh, what, what was it, 702 that said, where my girl's at, from the front to back, I know you feeling that, so pull one hand up, can you repeat that, cause girl, hold on ladies, I know a lot of us felt this, this is a song where you just see a nigga move on, and you like, I taught you everything, and you done gave her the best of you, after the years and the time I've invested in you, and I've poured into you, and you won't get that to somebody else, girl, y'all fucked me up with these pianos. And your voice is cold like that. She said, I just want some recognition. Just just give me my recognition for, for the time and the patience and the big heart that I had. Just recognize me for being a real one in your life. That's all I ask. If you're going to leave me out and drive this, at least say, you know what? But that was a damn good woman to me. Because give me some type of closure. Because what the fuck? But when she said, I can't believe I let you hit it. That's the worst part. Ooh. That'd be the worst part when you gave coochie to a nigga that didn't deserve it. Not a nigga, a man that didn't deserve it. Excuse me. You'd be like, and you can't, I just wish we could do coochie take backs for real. Cause it's like, I should never let you have me like that. Now my tummy hurts. He's in love with us. 
you just feel the pain in her voice. Like now my stomach hurt because you in love with her. That'd be the coldest part. Like that stomach sickness, when you see somebody move on and they actually fall in love with that person that they left you for, you be sick to your stomach, but you don't even want to eat. You be like, bitch, I don't even have no appetite. If you put some food in my face, I'd probably smack the fuck out of you in that plate. I, my stomach hurt. Like, you, you, did you see what he posted? They together and and and, and ha done had a baby together. But then she said, but guess what? Y'all done made a beautiful baby, but guess what you raising? You raising a fucking monster. And you know why you gonna be a little fucking monster? Because your daddy ain't shit and your mama ain't shit. And they did this to me. So unfortunately, that mean they ain't gonna be ain't shit to you because two ain't shit people gonna only give birth to an ain't shit ass baby. Girl, come on, because you talking crazy. This is from, this is the pain that I wish I could get in front of a piano and release because I'd be fucking y'all up. I promise you, every time my feelings get hurt, I'd be fucking y'all up in my soul. You boy, what? And I'll be sitting right next to her. But I'm going to let her sing lead and I'm going to just be background because she cold. That note she, that me she hit at the end, yeah, that note going to carry all the way over into 2043. Soon as your daughter get hurt, you going to hear me hit that note. And let me tell y'all men something. Because that was, a that was I almost said a bar, that was a lyric for your ass right there. Because a lot of y'all men, y'all treat women like shit and y'all have daughters. And I want y'all to know this. The next woman you shit on, the next heart you break, please know that karma is real. And somebody's going to do that to your little girl. And she is not going to be right. And you ain't going to take it well. You're going to want to kill that little boy. And it's going to be like, well, she got to pay for what her daddy did to all these other hearts over here. So y'all think about that. The next time you think about being ain't shit and you got some little girls to go home to, just know. Your daughter, they coming, motherfucker. Just know that. And with that being said, you guys need to check out all of these artists. Such amazing, such amazing talent, such amazing voices. I mean, oh my goodness, you guys. What a just a great episode to just sit back and vibe. Like, I just feel so good. I feel so calm. Like, when you hear beautiful voices, it's just so calming to your spirit that it's just like, yes. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for making it this far. Thank you for listening, not only to me react, but really just to vent. I think this is more so therapy for me. <laughs> it's what I listen to the music and then you always give me flashbacks and then we're still going crazy for a thing. And let's wrap it up. Make sure you guys like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And again, make sure you click the links below because that's where you can find more of their music and their Instagram and all that good stuff. And then you can also comment below and talk to me if you want to. Um, bye.